Hey guys, Stacy here. I hope you're all having a fantastic time in Epona. I'm hearing lots of stories, seeing lots of pictures. It looks really cool. I can't wait to get there, but you know me. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> like, I'm excited to experience it, but I'm in no rush. I still have a lot of stuff to explore in this game. And um, as I've tried to say before, I need to pass Cadence on Nova. So Nova right now is almost level 10. Um, so I'm catching up really quick. And then once I pass uh, Cadence on Nova, I can go back to doing more storyline main quests and do some more leveling up. I'm trying to go slowly now because um, I need to get past her on Nova. If that's making any sense at all. Um, so I've kind of been slowing down, but I still have like Dino Valley to see, Golden Hills I think I'm really gonna love, and of course Epona is going to be amazing. <laughs> but I'm in no rush. I know a lot of people have run out of stuff to do even now, <laughs> so I'm okay. I'm just taking my time. It means all the area is gonna be pretty dead, because <laughs> everyone's off at Epona. I'm on Moon Diamond today because it's been a while. I put him in the uh, special gear that you got. We uh, Star Stable emailed out codes to lifetime members for Saddle Pad and Saddle. Um, next month we'll get the reins. Um, um, he still got his Easter leggings on. <laughs> That's okay. I might do some racing with him today as well for a training video. I'm in the middle of Dragon Reins training video, so that should be up soon. Um, and then maybe I'll do Moon Diamond. Because he's pretty high up there. He's seven compared to some of my other horses. <laughs> um, we're here with James to do uh, the treasure map. Continue with the treasure map. I've been doing a bit more research on your Wikipedia and trying to find out more about the last piece of the map. I'm pretty sure it is in Silverglade Village. Mississippi's son, Washington, left everything he had to the people of Yorvik. All his possessions were taken care of by the council in Silverglade. To Silverglade we go. I also have some mail to read today. I'm very excited. I got quite a big handful. I'm probably not going to read it all today. It's just so I'll have some for the next episode, too. <laughs> I'm gonna read some of it. I'm so excited. I love getting letters from you guys. It, It's so exciting. <laughs> from everywhere, too. I'm getting letters from everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> Where are we going? Silverglade. Steve's farm. Also, I've been talking about getting some uh, sweets and treats sent over from Sweden so I could try them on camera. I just think that would be so much fun. <laughs> If you have any recommendations for Swedish treats, let me know, because I need to know what to try. I'm up, I'm up for anything. Um, the only thing I will not consume is if anything is grape flavored. Just, I won't do it. Real grapes, I'm okay with. Grape flavoring, no. Nope. I'm a little iffy with cherry as well, but grape flavoring, ugh. <laughs> so to be safe, I just don't consume anything purple. <laughs> All right, we're in Silverlade. Where do we have to go? The councilman. Seems like a good place. <laughs> ah, yes. Washington Jones left everything he had to us. An old piece of map. Ah, that must be stored in the archives. The archives aren't in Silverglade Village anymore, which, ironically, is mostly because of Washington Jones. He was an avid collector of just about everything. When we went to archive his collection, it filled up the entire basement of the city hall. It really wasn't practical in the long run, so everything was moved to Fir Grove. Right over there and ask my colleague there. I'm sure he will know all about it. Okay. This wild goose chase. <laughs> Let's speak with this gentleman about some records. Mm -hmm. Mr. Franklin. I can't believe I forgot his name. Good day, Cadence. Washington Jones's collection. Yes, it was stored here, but it isn't anymore. <laughs> Washington Jones' collection was so big, we were forced to hire out a place in an old mine around here. There is a lot of unused space in that old mine. It is shut down now, and there was a big flood this spring, so unfortunately, I'm not sure what has happened to the collection. If you are lucky, the old piece of the map might still be there. You should ride over there and take a look. Good luck. 
Another dangerous mission they have no problem sending a young girl to do. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it done. Oh, it's in a weird place. Okay. Okay. We could do this. Ooh, who's excited for Icelandic horses? Me! Oh, it's so exciting. It's so, it's so hard. Because <laughs> everybody swore up and down it was going to be Mustangs. But I think Icelandic horses are going to be adorable. We've all seen Maybell. That's what Maybell is from Instagram. I don't think I've been over here before. This is new for me. For me. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Cool, cool. I thought those were stairs. They're logs. Good job. Good job, me. Oh, oh, we're searching boxes. Okay. Finally. Excellent. Now, do we go back to that guy? Ongoing. The Councilman in Fergrove. Okay. To the Councilman in Fergrove. Look at that! There we have the old piece of the map. Oh, I forgot his voice. <laughs> that piece of the map belongs to all the people of Jorvik, so I can't just give it to you. If you want this piece of the map, then you will have to share the treasure with the people of Jorvik. We need every shilling we can get to build new roads and new stalls. I'm okay with that. James may have a problem with that. Is that who we're going to go see? Yup. <laughs> He's not going to be too happy. Uh-oh. Okay, we return to James. The last piece of the map. Oh, wait, do you notice something different? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I bought a hat. <laughs> Winter is coming. We need to keep our head warm. And it's blue and black, and I like it. Um, I'll show you the stats. It is... Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll compare it to the one we had on. The new hat is four riding, five command, and one carrying. My pink hat is four riding, three jumping, and two carrying. So we'll see how that affects my riding. I don't know. I'm a little worried about <laughs> not having bonus to jumping, but you know. Hey, but funny. not again. That is coming out of your share again, Cadence. No, no, all of it. All of it has to be shared. You'll never be a good businessman. Oh, we have to wait again. Fine. You just have some other quests for us, though. Wallet gone, money vanished, end of the world. Oh, no, where could it have got to? It's not over here, and it's not over there. Might it be in my other jeans? Hey, Cadence, thank goodness you're here. You haven't seen my wallet around here, have you? No? Ugh, look, I, I promise I won't be angry, but, but might there be a small chance that, that you maybe borrowed it? No, of course I don't think you'd take it from me. I, I just felt like I had to ask, oh, why does this stuff always happen to me? What happened? Well, just the kind of usual regular old bad luck I guess I have, and now my wallet's missing. The worst thing is that all of that, all the money I had is gone as well. Someone's stolen my whole life. What's the point in making all these great deals when someone just takes it all away from you afterwards? Er, as soon as I get a hold of whoever took my wallet, I swear I'm gonna... Why do you think my wallet has been stolen? Easy answer. I'd never let it out of my sight for even half a second, especially now when there's tons of money in it. Someone's taken it. There's no two ways about it. You think we should take a look around anyway, just in case I manage to drop it by accident? I, I guess you're right. We'll give it a go, but if we don't find anything soon, I'll be ringing the police straight away. We can't have thieves around here. It's bad for business. You'll help me look? We are excellent at finding things, James. I don't know if you talked to, um, what's her name in Moreland? Jenna? But we are great at finding things. We even confronted a thief. I see sparkles! Excuse me, madam.
Well, do we have to search all seven? Is it just gonna be in the last spot? Meow. Hello to Ivinka Lightning Valley of the Curious Cowgirls on Frost Dancer. Ooh, look, he's even dancing for us. <laughs> Hello, it was nice to see you in the slightly abandoned Fort Pinta. <laughs> So thank you for stopping to say hello. Well, here's one spot. I, well, I think we're not going to find it is what's going to happen. <laughs> That's why there's a set number of search places. That's, that's my guess. I'm guessing we won't find it. Boom. You didn't find anything. Called it! Otherwise there wouldn't have been seven specific search places and we needed to check them all. Alright, so let's report back to James. Tell him we didn't find his wallet. <laughs> oh, I knew somebody had stolen it. A fruity trail. Cadence, this just isn't cool. We can't have a thief that just goes around taking stuff off people. As soon as all the tourists hear about this, they'll take off and I'll lose my business. This is a disaster. I've got to ring the police immediately. Now where's my phone? I'm, I'm dead certain I had it right here. You know what this means, Cadence. Someone swiped my phone as well. Hang on, what's this? Someone's dropped a little piece of banana? Um, it's not another little chunk of banana there as well? It is, isn't it? Looks like our thief likes a bit of fruit. He'll not be getting away with it for much longer, mind you. Since you promised you'd help, you can ride off and follow that fruity trail. A fruity trail? Okay. Oh. Okay. So we're looking for a monk? Nope, now it's back this way. <laughs> did did James have it? <laughs> and he forgot? Oh, what is happening? <gasps> it's a monkey! It is a monkey! I want a monkey! <gasps> you followed the trail of fruit, and right in front of you is a monkey? Right in front of the monkey is James's phone. Could it be that this cheeky monkey also has James's wallet? As you reach out to pick up the phone, the monkey takes a quick step backwards and begins to run away. It's best you follow him if James is ever going to get his phone back. Ooh, we're doing a race. Okay. Oh, where, where is he? There he is. Oh no! A race down these stairs! Come on now. I'm just not so good at it. There he is. Go get him. No, don't stop. Come on. I don't like those stairs. Monkey! Wait up, monkey! Monkey, monkey! Monkey! He's so fast, he looks so funny running. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, oh. Right back. Right back here. Where's he going? Do we have to go around again? Get him! Get the monkey! <laughs> oh. Hello, magic lady. Isabel Fig. Diggory, what happened, boy? Oh, Diggory must be the monkey. <laughs> I thought it was a weird exclamation. Diggory! Oh my good giddy gracious little sweet pea. I'm ever so terribly, awfully sorry. Seriously, I thought I'd told little Dig Diggory here that he's not to be monkeying around taking things that aren't his. But 
I must say, he turns into such a naughty, cheeky monkey when he gets bored. Oh, the shame, my little angel. I'm so enormously sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Isabel Fig, soon to be the greatest street magician of all time, and hopefully apprentice to the great Yidris. Ta-da! <laughs> if I could perform real magic? Ha! Huh. Oh, silly little butterfly. Of course I can't. Besides, there's no such thing as real magic, because street magic is all about creating illusions. I simply get you to believe you've seen something magical happening when in fact it's all just a fun trick. I've been dreaming of a day when I'll get to work with the master of magical arcs, Yidris, Yidri, Yidri. Have you heard of him? But good grief, what a beautiful little horse you have. Moon Diamond, you say? What a sweetie. Mind if I have a bit of a pet? Oh, what a cute and fluffy mane you have, Angel. Darling, I don't remember asking your name. I feel like she's gonna steal my wallet. How adorable! I love your name. You and Moon Diamond have got great stage names. I can say it now. See it now. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the fabulous Cadence and her big, brave Moon Diamond. Thanks, I like your pants. Sweetheart, I'm so unbelievably forgetful. Do you forgive me? You said something about Diggory having taken something from your friend. He's not my friend. He's an associate. Is there a chance that it might be this here wallet? Oh, gosh. There are even more things here. How awfully embarrassing. Yeah, because you don't train him to do that or anything. There is an ID card that seems to belong to some kind of security guard and a couple of keys as well. Listen, pedal, be a treasure and leave these things back with the people to whom they belong, would you? Thanks ever so, little icicle. Let them know from me that I'm truly, seriously, devastatingly sorry. Pip pip. I don't trust street magicians. I just don't trust them. Hey. Oh. Here, have a stolen good. Mm. What? This is mine. Was it missing? Well, thanks. Mm. Oh, he lost something as well. A key. Makes sense. And James's wallet. Hey. Yay! All right, let's go report back to this sh shady street magician. Oh my gosh, my love, thank you. Oh my, I'm really totally head over heels in love with Moon Diamond. You're the most beautiful horse I've ever seen with your lovely mane and those big beautiful eyes. I know, he's so handsome. Chickadee, I have the absolute 100% best idea ever. What do you say we start getting you trained up on the basics of being a street magician? No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. A totally tremendously tip-top idea, my little sugar plum. This will be the greatest day of your life. You can get started by learning how to handle a card trick, because the card trick, princess, is the strongest tool in a street magician's box. There's always space to perform one, they're super easy to carry, and you can always do so much with them. Okay, pumpkin, here's the first card. The first thing we do is really... E no! My cards! They're flying away! Oh my goodness, I must, must, must keep a firmer grip on them. I should have known it'd be gusty here by the coast. Gosh darn it. You'll chase them and pick them up, you say? My goodness, you're the sweetest. Thanks ever so much. Mwah. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get her her cards. Picking up cards. Ooh, we missed that one. That's okay. <laughs> we'll go back and get it later. Hey, there's Gunther, Helga, and Gretchen. God, they made it back safely. <laughs> Is this the last one? Yes, thankfully. Hey lady, we got all your cards. Mm -hmm. Thanks ever so much. You've no idea how you've just saved my life there. Mm -hmm. Okay, little squirrel, here we go with your first card trick. First, you let the person you're about to perform the trick on see all your cards. Then comes the tricky bit. Letting the person take a card that they're allowed to take a look at. Make sure you're talking the whole time as you turn the cards in your hand upside down like this. When the person puts their card back into the pack, it'll be the wrong way up compared to the rest of the cards. Clever, right? 
To confuse the person even more, I usually say a few magic words, you know, make it sound like I'm casting a spell. <laughs> You'll do a great job, Lamb Chop. It sounds more complicated than it really is. Here, take the cards and give it a go. Use deck of cards. Hello? What do we do? Am I performing it on the monkey? Oh, I have to be dismounted. Got it. I like the music. Oh, it went wrong. <laughs> no surprise there. It went wrong. Oh, I did it totally right. Wow, lovely work, sweetheart. You and Moon Diamond make a rather marvelous pair. Perhaps you should try out a career in street magic? Or a magician on horseback? Imagine the fame, honey bunch! No, I don't want to be a magician. I just no. don't. Can I tell you a secret, little love? You know, between two magicians? Since I've introduced you to the ancient art of magic, of course you're a magician now. Yes, well, I thought about organizing a show right here in Fort Pinta, which will absolutely be 100% Positively 100% remarkably remarkable. Ha! <laughs> You're the sweetest. Of course you like my idea. In any case, I need a very, very dull piece of paperwork to be able to hold the show. I swear, if I was eardest, eard, I wouldn't have needed the silly piece of paper. Apparently, it's some James that I have to apply with, some kind of application fee to be able to get permission for the show. Oh, you know James? Darling, I love you. Whatever, something, I missed it, I clicked it, didn't get to meet you, I'd have been totally lost. Could you take this envelope with the forms and the fee to James? Oh, you're a total treasure. I don't know that I like this magician lady. I feel like she's up to something. Um, okay. We'll just give it to this nothing. Nothingness. <laughs> hey. Applying to hold a magic show? Mm -hmm. Hmm, a magic show will attract even more tourists because everyone loves magic. Of course she can have her show. More tourists here means more profit for me and will probably make up for all the bad rumors that started about the thief. You'll ride back to her with the permission? Great, see ya! See ya! Good. Uh, guess what? You can have your show. <laughs> oh, sweetie, your lovely little pedal. That was fast. And now here I am with permission to get started with all the preparations. Okay, I decided that it's time to take a break from the quest and read some mail. Yay, mail! Uh, first, I have this giant package. As you can see, I don't want to show the address that I opened already because my dog was really excited about this one. Of all the packages that I received, he was most interested in this one. And so I opened it. And I was so excited because this one contains a stuffed monkey. Oh, which is perfect for the quest that we were doing today, right? With the little monkey. Oh, I wish we could have monkey pets in the star stable. He's going to go on my shelf, I think, with my teddy bear. So this is from Kayla. Oh, and I didn't say where. This is from Kayla from Illinois. That's awesome. Oh, I said Illinois. I think it's Illinois. <laughs> Let's play Star Stable number 56, Ghost Train and Teddy Bear. She even drew a little, a little bit of the HUD there. Hello, my name is Kayla and I'm from Illinois. I love watching your Star Sable videos and hope you can friend me. My name is Annie Underpaw. I am 11 years old and love Giga Spider so much. He's been getting so much love lately. I feel like it was the Halloween episodes that made everybody fall in extra love with Giga Spider. My horse's name is Ice Top and would like to also see Giga Spider and see the best horse ever. He may want an autograph too. I know I do. I'm a huge fan and would die of love if you friended me. I know the monkey is kind of random, but oh well. Sincerely, Kayla. 
Always be happy and don't let anyone take your amazing soul down. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I just love, I love the little thing that she drew over here. It's an awesome letter. I love the little monkey. I wish you guys could feel how soft he is because he's very, very soft. And I just love that we did the, the magician quest today with the monkey because now it's extra appropriate. <laughs> that works for now. I'm actually uh, working on doing some more rearranging. I think I'm going to have a table back here behind me. It's my Death Star. <laughs> and adjusting my tables a little bit. Uh, so it's going to be moving around anyway. Then we'll get it sorted out a little bit better. <laughs> thank you, Kayla. That's awesome. I love it. I love your letter and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Next, we have a letter from Melly in Alabama. She drew some cute little pictures on the envelope. <laughs> now, I opened some of these ahead of time. I think this was the letter with the bracelet in it, which is adorable. I hope it's that one. I opened a couple of them when I was with Allison and Michaela because the ones that helped me with my meetup because they wanted to see some of the letters and I hope they put the bracelet back in the right envelope but I love it it's rainbow and it's adorable thank you <laughs> let's get to the letter oh it's a picture oh my gosh look at that look at that artwork that's killer Let's see. Hey, Stacy. my name is Mel, but in SSO, my name is Olympia Southside. I met you at your Raspberry Valley meet and greet. Do you remember how you had <laughs> Whip Nay Nay stuck in your head? And someone said, how about you get Cupid Shuffle stuck in your head? Well, that person was me. <laughs> I do remember that exchange. <laughs> I was asking if you were married to Tom. You said you weren't married, so I was wondering these things. Who is Tom? <laughs> Tom, um, Michaela, one of the girls, one of my friends that helps me do the meetups each time, Tom is her boyfriend. They live together and that's where we, uh, do the meetups. We gather at their house, um, cause it's easier. It's got a nice setup for us to do, do the meetups at. What made you want to work with SSO? Um, actually the, I worked for a game, oh, gaming website called girlgamer.com. It's no longer up, unfortunately. Um, but Star Stable contacted us about holding a contest to do a lifetime giveaway, which we did. Um, Lucy McBrook, something like that, won our lifetime giveaway that we did. And they also gave us an account to use for review purposes, videos, etc. to make sure it was something that we wanted to work together on. And I just, uh, it fell to me to try it out and do videos and stuff. And I ended up liking it so much that I kept doing videos. <laughs> So we, I was already kind of working with SSO at that point, and then uh, after Girl Gamer stopped working, they asked if I wanted to do more with them for, in their company. So it was luck, <laughs> but it was fantastic. I'm so happy that I started working with them on a regular basis. It's been a blast. I love meeting you guys. I'm just very lucky. <laughs> What is a horse coming out? Well, now we know it's going to be the Icelandic horse that's coming out and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get one. Yay! <laughs> From Love Mel or Olympia Southside. Also, my YouTube is Melly G Plays. P.S. The picture is a mix of you in real life and SSO. Thank you. I love it. You guys are so artistic. That one will show up really well on the wall. Um, it's kind of hard to see them, I guess, because it's so bright. We'll figure something out. Don't worry. We'll get them up there. They deserve it. You guys are so talented artists. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so, thank you, Melly. Melly G plays. Check out her YouTube. Thank you for your letter. Woo! Oh, no. I'm going to have quite a stamp collection from you guys. <laughs> this one started to fall out. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Can you see this? Should I back up? Can you see it? Um, it's beautiful. Look, even Cheese is excited. Hi, Cheese. 
Come here. Come here. Do you want to say hello? Look, say hello. This is Cheese. This is my dog, Cheese. Look over here. <gasps> Yay! He was real excited that I opened this picture and he came running over. Oh, hello! Thanks. Thanks. You're on camera, Cheese. Say hello! <laughs> He's just confused. We got this awesome picture, me and Cheese! That's so cool! Oh, I didn't even read the name! I just got so excited! Layla! From Florida! Isn't that exciting, Cheese? He's a good boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's read her letter. Oh, and open up Star Staple again. Dear Stacy, I am your biggest fan. I watch your Star Stable videos and I think it's your Minecraft I watch too because it says Stacy plays that's actually that comes up a lot a lot of people um, send me messages and stuff but Stacy plays is actually a different person <laughs> I also play Minecraft a little less she plays it a lot she's the one that does dog craft and uh, some other stuff um, but yeah, I get a lot of like messages and stuff for her, and I'm not her. Stacy Plays is her YouTube name, and Stacy Place is my real name. So <laughs> I totally understand the confusion. <laughs> I always feel bad when I have to write back to people and say, "Oh, well, that's not me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's somebody else." But I'm sure she would very much appreciate your message. <laughs> I was watching you do Star Stable on YouTube, then I wanted to play because you amazed me. I was kind of, was inspired a little too much. Oh, she's mentioning Minecraft. If we can, I know you meet people at Fort Pinta Disco Party sometimes. I can't get on and I mostly have an hour on the computer. I would like to meet you in Star Stable. My Star Stable name is Christina Opelhart. Oh, that's very pretty. And sometimes in my head when I watch your vids, I yell, go Stacy, go! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I have chickens and I hate it. <laughs> they are mean. I also had a Shetland pony seven years ago. Oh, that's awesome. His name was Bo, but sad thing is he died because he got colicked. Colicked? I think that's what she's saying does not know how to spell that. That's okay. I want to grow up just like you. I also, you like the horse pick. She hopes I like the horse pick. I love the horse picture. That's adorable. I can't, that's gonna look awesome on the wall. Yeah, oh, if I can get it up there properly. That's so cool. I wish I had a horse coloring book. I also hope I win the next giveaway, but it's okay if I don't. Good luck for the other people. I hate, I hate, I'm not trying to be a snob. No, everybody hopes they win, of course. <laughs> That's fine. Your biggest fan, Layla. Thank you, Layla. I appreciate that. I'm sorry about the confusion with the screen names, but, um... I'm glad that you like my Star Stable videos. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's so cute. And I love your picture. You did a great job. I still love coloring, but I am definitely not good at getting <laughs> colors in the lines. Oh, and there are frozen stickers on the back. That's pretty epic. I love stickers. I have a huge sticker collection. I should show you guys my stickers and stamps sometime. <laughs> All right, I'm going to save the rest from next time. We have some from Hazel Brooks. Uh, this one just says North Carolina. This one's from Pennsylvania, Easton, Pennsylvania. And one from Texas. And we will get to those next time. I want to space it out a little bit so every episode has some mail in it. It will be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys can come to the meetup on Saturday on Night Star. Uh, this should be up before then, so yay, meet up on Night Star. I hope to see you guys there. Um, and next time we will continue the monkey quests. <laughs>
<laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Bye.